Pogs, you there, please wait. You're Geralt of Rivia, are you not? <sighs> Depends who's asking. Revenue and customs for occupied Tamaria, Dorian branch, represented by yours truly, Deputy Tax Enumerator, Walter Mormite. Honored, I guess. What seems to be the problem? In brief, undeclared income. Excuse me? We've had reports, numerous, that over the last months you've come into a great deal of coin. Quickly. So quickly it's raised suspicions. I get how that might have happened. Be glad to clear them up. Profession? Witcher. Monster Slayer. Hmm. Sole proprietorship. Service sector. Type of services rendered. Rat pest monster removal. Moving on. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchard area? Might have. Once or twice. Definitely no more than three times. And did you then file a WIPT 30-C form with the Revenue and Customs Office for your place of residence? No? As I thought. Hmm. Right. Next. During the current fiscal year, have you engaged in the acquisition of bivalves with the express intention of selling the pearls therein? Even if I have, what's wrong with that? Article 86, Section 3 of the Tax Code. Whosoever purchases goods at an unseemly low price to take advantage of the seller's ignorance shall be subject to a fine equaling 200% of the earnings from any such a transaction. Sound familiar? And now, please answer. Have you or have you not dealt in said pearls? No, never done anything of the sort. Witcher's honor. Now, for the final question. Have you ever unlawfully acquired another man's movable goods? Chattels? Hmm. Meaning? Uh, a meaning? Have you ever waltzed into someone's home and taken something without their permission? Gotta be kidding. The Witcher's Code forbids it. I'm pleased to hear you abide by your guild's bylaws. Now, if you could wait for one moment. Compare column B to table 7. Apply the rate for confirmed childless bachelors. A tax credit of 7.3% for practitioners of hazardous professions. It adds up to the crown. I say, good sir, you are exceptionally upstanding. It'd be rude to disagree. In these times, such civic virtue is a rarity. It must be commended, rewarded. Here. Well, what's this? A diploma. I bestow on you the title of taxpayer in good standing. I'd suggest you frame it. Hang it in a place of honour. Congratulations!